Good afternoon, Internet. My name is Joseph. I recently had a haircut and got new glasses, and sometimes I suffer from depression. Some of you might be confused when I say that I sometimes suffer from depression, but it's not as contradictory as one might imagine. Um, now, when I'm also talking about depression, I'm talking about the one with the capital D. Ooh, backwards. Capital D. No, backwards again. Capital D. There we go. I'm not talking about being upset because, like, your dog has died or your wife's divorcing you or your camera's really shaky. I'm talking about the overwhelming continual feeling that things are hopeless and that you are worthless. It's not a nice feeling. It, it, it's really not. And it's something that a lot of people can get for a long time. Um, that's the main... That's the, other, that's the other thing I want to clarify. You can have depression for a long time and not suffer from it. It's tricky to put into words, but it's like sometimes, you know, yeah, you, you, you still feel that things are kind of worthless and that hopeless and that everything's going to become dust, but you know what, let's have a good day. And it's best summed up as having basically your depression is always going to be a negative, but you have more positive than negative and therefore, you know, you're not actually suffering. When I talk about depression in these videos, I'm going to be talking mostly about my experiences and what I've observed happen goes wrong with other people. The first thing I want to talk about is how important it is to talk to people with, about depression. Or with, to talk to people with depression. Or just be there to listen. And it doesn't have to be talking about the, the depression itself. It could just be like... So, I saw there was a diary about... Oh, I don't know. It could be anything. Seriously, just talk. Sometimes that's all you need, someone to talk to. And if you have depression, find someone to talk to. I don't care if it's a psychiatrist, a psychologist, or a priest, or your mother, or your father, or your friends, or even me. If you've no one else to talk to, message me. I am more than happy to talk to someone if they have depression. I have made a friend in England. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll mention this one. I have made a friend in England that I've never met while helping her with her depression. I'm happy if someone messages me on YouTube to talk to them for as much as they need. The key thing though is while I say you will have depression probably forever, it's not something that goes away, at least not what I've had and not from my experiences. It's always niggling there in the background. Just because you'll never be rid of depression doesn't mean you should always feel bad not that you're unwell, it's not that you're always sick, it's just a part of you. I've had to deal with this and grow up with it for years, and I'm going to continue to grow up with it for more, many, many, many more years, and I gotta say, it's kind of not as overwhelming as it used to be. It gets better. Still in the gay line. Right, I'm gonna let myself from inside, who was in my bedroom. Oh my god, the invader of my personal space, sign you off. So I'm going to put some links into the description for some music that I listen to when I'm in a bad mood. Hopefully it'll make you feel better if you need it. Mm, who knows. Tom next Saturday we will talk about depression and agency. Very important things, trust me. Um, until then, I'll see you again sometime.